Welcome to Inside the Studio. I'm here this afternoon with Don Kilby of Kilby Gallery in Clarksburg, Ontario. Hi, Joanne. Thank you very much for inviting me to a brand new gallery. And I'm really excited to be here because it's gorgeous. Well, I'm excited to show it off. It's brand new, and as you say, and uh, I just can't wait to get people in to have a look around. And people will be anxious to get here, Don, once they see your work looking so spectacular. Um, so you are in Clarksburg. Can you tell people, please, where Clarksburg is? Well, Clarksburg is a, is a relatively tiny little village that's tacked on the end of Thornberry, which is situated on the south shore of Georgian Bay, a couple hours north of Toronto, about halfway between Owen Sound and Collingwood. Right. And so uh, Clarksburg is a little bit of a destination, or it can be, for day trippers and for people that are visiting in the area, Collingwood or whatever, um, it's a wonderful, simple drive to come over here. There's several galleries in the community. How many are there? There are four galleries, but there are more than just art galleries here. There's, um, there's a, the Honey House, which sells local product at Honey. Uh, there is antique shops. There is uh, metal workers. There's a one-of-a-kind hardware store you'll never see uh, like anything else like it. Um, so yeah, there's a variety, as well as a beautiful setting. The Beaver River runs right through the, the village and it's a, it's a wonderful place to spend an afternoon. Charming little place, actually. Um, so you um, have been an artist for a long time, I expect, <laughs> since you've been that high. More or less, yeah. I, I wrote it uh, on a bio one time that I was like every other kid that loved to draw, but I just never stopped. You know, uh, crayons turned into pencils, turned into paintbrushes, and ultimately, but uh, but the process just never never ended. Parents supportive of you being an artist? Supportive and terrified at the same mm -hmm. time. They uh, didn't come from an artistic background themselves, although there seems to be an artistic side to my mom's family. That every generation, somebody shows up that's the creative bent to them, uh, but yeah, very supportive to this day. They're, they're my biggest fans, and, and uh, when I need someone to pat me on the back, they're, they're always up to the job. Of course they are. Um, so you have been a commercial artist by profession, or you were for a long time, um, and uh, what were you doing in the commercial world? Well, I worked on a, a vast range of different types of work. The job of an illustrator is uh, work comes from all different directions and I worked in uh, corporate applications doing annual reports and things like that uh, as uh, well as children's books some of which I got to write myself um, book jackets uh, advertisements for posters just you name it our commercial artist uh, does a bit of everything and where was that done what part of the country were you commercial artist? Well, I studied in uh, uh, Sheridan College just outside of Toronto, and like many of uh, the grads there, I ended up in Toronto shortly after, and uh, from my formative years, I guess, that's was home base. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so your work is incredibly meticulous, and it is uh, detailed, and, uh, and it is finessed in every possible way. Um, and it is realistic if you could categorize it that way. How do you define your style? Well, I, I've used the term painterly realism. I, I definitely am a realist painter, um, but there's obvious painterly elements in there that I strive to, to maintain and to, to be represented in the, in the work. And, uh, in truth, uh, the style of painting that I do goes back to the time of Leonardo da Vinci and before. So it's just um, trying to capture uh, a real sense of whatever it is you're painting in as much um, detail and authenticity as possible, and uh, the representation and, and realistically based, but not um, you know uh, solely focused on on a photographic like reproduction. But I. I I'm playing up certain elements and I'm knocking back other elements in a, you know, a, the same way that, that classical painters have been doing forever sort of a thing. So it, it to me, is an evolution of a classical painting style, really. Absolutely. 
Any Canadian painters that particularly um, were inspirational for you? Well, there's many, although um, my favorite painters, uh, it's hard to call anybody a favorite, but uh, I, I am a huge fan of Tom Thompson's work. I, I'm often flipping open my books on the group of seven in general just for, for um, a little pump up and, and uh, it just gets me excited about being an artist again. I, I, I love to get down to Kleinberg and visit the McMichael Gallery or the AGO and get a, you know, my, my tanks filled with enthusiasm again and seeing that work. And, and our styles are different, but, but there's all kinds of, of clues I can take from those pieces and how to make my own work better. Awesome. You're, uh, you're incredibly versatile, Dawn, I must say. As I look around your gallery, um, there are many different interpretations of what you love best. Certainly, um, the, the country scapes, the, the barns that dot the uh, Ontario landscape are prominent in your work, um, as are the beautiful winter scenes that you have so eloquently captured um, the snow on falling bridges and barns and so on. Um, we need to talk about this piece behind us, Dawn, which is utterly spectacular. It is a 32 inch by 80 inch painting, Dawn. And um, can you tell us a little bit about it, Cabin in the Green? What, what was your inspiration for this painting? Well, um, it's interesting that the reason this painting kind of took off because it was often I'll have a, an idea for a painting kind of floating around in my head for a while and I wanted to try a large panel piece and I had been painting winter scenes and I was was basically growing weary of painting with white and blue paint and wanted to get into the green so I jumped into this project and um, I really tested myself because there's a you know an awful lot of variations of subtlety and, and the greens there, but it's it's based on a scene uh, a couple hours from here up by Perry Sound. Uh, there's actually a rail trail that runs along where the viewer basically is, and um, this was a quiet little lake on a river system with this one solitary cabin, and as soon as I saw it, it just kind of registered as something that I thought would make a spectacular painting. And it does. And, and that's kind of a a little cabin where you could uh, paint quite nicely for a long time, Don. Yeah, well, it's definitely a rustic looking mm -hmm. place, so uh, those are the ones that kind of appeal to me visually, at least. Like, it maybe is full of mice and leaks when it rains, but it, mm -hmm. it's got a lot of character. The thing about this piece and, and the scale of it was that I wanted to, as I always do with my paintings, but in this one in particular, I wanted to test the limits of sort of abstract balance in the composition, so there's an awful lot of just of this green mass, and then it's sort of balanced off by the cabin over to the right-hand side of it with a, a couple of birch trees to add a little bit of emphasis. So, so that little concentrated area is balanced off by this big extension over here, and I think it, it achieves a nice kind of uh, sense of balance. Is this a plein air painting, or did you are you painting from a photograph? As painting for me are typically a mix. Bag. I'll often do some studies, sometimes just the little sketchbook, uh, pen and paper kind of things. Um, this one, with the amount of time, is definitely not a plein air, uh, uh, but it was, a, it was many hours in the studio to get that piece. It's absolutely phenomenal. Um, and you're a car aficionado, so uh, in addition to beautiful, the beautiful landscape paintings that are here, uh, and the uh, waterscapes of Georgian Bay, the lake that is close at hand. Um, you also paint fantastic cars, so um, you do commissions for, for people that have higher-end cars? Well, I do commissions uh, for any and all sorts, so it could be someone's um, home farm, it could be uh, someone's uh, favorite horse, but definitely cars are something I enjoy um, painting as well as just being around. Uh, I'm, I'm picky on what appeals to me, so some beautiful vintage kind of cars are what I favor, and I'm, I, I don't have any really in the gallery at this present time, although there are some new ones underway, but 
on the website you can see uh, some of the classic cars like uh, Mercedes convertible from the 50s or Jaguar E types, things like that, that are just pieces of art themselves. Those are, are what really inspired me to, to want to make them a painting. Commission work to me is, is almost going back to being a, a commercial artist in that somebody has got an idea sometimes and they're paying you to execute something. So it, it, it feels like comfortable territory for me. Um, and what I really like is a commission where we can kind of work together, my input as well as the client's input, cumulatively create something really special that they get something that they wanted and I get to paint something that I think will make a great painting. Really exciting, really beautiful, colorful, elegant uh, works of art, really. Thank you. Um, so your gallery is open from Friday to Sunday from 12 to 5 or by uh, appointment or by chance? That's right. I, I have my home studio just up the road basically so I'm usually pretty close uh, to, uh, to being able to pop in the air if somebody comes along at the early part of the week. So for those of you that want to uh, have a wonderful day drive uh, not too far from the city, uh, please come and visit Don and his charming gallery uh, assistant or attendant. This is Brownie. Brownie has been a wonderful <laughs> addition to uh, every gallery that I've ever visited a uh, Don at. So. That's right. She's been with me for for ten years uh, plus now, and uh, she's the official gallery greeter. So. She most definitely is Don. So congratulations, Don, on a spectacular new space. I hope that uh, you can come and visit Dawn in Clarksburg. Um, it's, it's a beautiful gallery and it's a, it is a fine art gallery, so Dawn's work um, is perhaps uh, some exquisite work that you may not see in some of the other galleries that you visited. But I do hope you have a chance to come to Clarksburg and uh, meet Dawn, he's a charming kind of a guy. And, um, and uh, come and support the gallery and support the artists in Clarksburg as well. So thank you for joining us this afternoon and we'll see you soon. Thanks.